relax. Where I come from, nobody squeals. If I should take a notion to jump into the ocean, ain't nobody's business if I do. If I dislike my lover and leave her for another, it ain't nobody's business if I do. Well, I won't call no copper if I'm beat up by my papa. It ain't nobody's business if I do. Divas, gangsters, and one very anxious playwright are coming together in the musical version of Woody Allen's Bullets Over Broadway. We're here in the rehearsal room to get a sneak peek and talk to the cast about this brand new musical. So gangsters, showgirls, you had to call Stro, right? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, when I got the call from Woody Allen that he wanted to turn his screenplay into a musical, I, I couldn't get there fast enough because I've always thought it would lend itself to being a musical. My true dream, like more than anything, would be to star in a Broadway musical because uh, it was the impetus for me becoming an actor. And then this perfect storm happened that was Woody Allen, Susan Stroman, all the stars aligned and it was just a no-brainer. It was like, uh, yes, of course, when? When can we start? This is the part in the show. Yes, it is. She is the grand diva of them all, and it's so much fun to play. I'm having just the greatest time. You also have the signature line yes. from the show. <laughs> yes, don't speak. <laughs> For people who didn't see the movie 20 years ago, can you briefly tell me what Bullets Over Broadway is? Bullets Over Broadway is about uh, a playwright who needs to choose between his art and making a buck, and what he has to do and what we all have to do for our art, whether we sell out or whether we give in or whether we just like say, it's more important that I just had a happy life. Your character has to act opposite a woman who cannot act. Tell me about doing that. Well, it's uh, hilarious, first of all. Uh, Helena York is playing all of his genius at it. But also my character, I think he sees beyond her bad acting and just really wants to, uh, you know, flirt with her to say the least. Tell me what it's like for you to be such a bad actress. I think being delightfully bad is one of the most fun things to do. It's like being delightfully mean or delightfully evil or anything like that is so much fun to play. Let's misbehave. Let's misbehave. They say that bears have a love affair. And even camels. We're only mammals. Let's misbehave. A little bit about singing and using music from that era in this show. Uh, you know, I think that it works perfectly with uh, with a Woody Allen show, just in the sense that it kind of matches his style of writing very well. You know what I mean? Jazz is very much about uh, timing, and uh, and so is Woody's uh, dialogue. Woody wanted it to be authentic songs from the twenties, and uh, he wanted it to be an authentic sounding score. So we, uh, you know, because the show takes place in 1929, we sat around and talked about different songs. I think that was absolutely genius on Woody and Susan's part to use songs that people sort of know and then songs that people really know and then some that are obscure pieces that I think people will be singing as they leave the theater. The songs that have been chosen from the period, they're like songs that were written for us because we've been able to tweak lyrics and make them character specific and to have these characters now come to life singing is so much fun. I would give my body freely to the man who wrote those words, those glorious Powerful words! You're a breath! You're a pole! You're my Ibsen, you're my Thoreau. As the world, anything. You're my god, you're my queen, I'm your king! Don't sing! Why did this show need to sing and dance on Broadway? Well, it was a great movie. It's Woody Allen. It's a great time in the American culture. And it just lends itself to the spirit of it. So much of the show takes place in a nightclub, so that is perfect for music. And these are the kind of characters who are bigger than life to begin with, so for them to burst into song is a piece of cake. It's got gangsters, and our show's got dancing girls, and you know, lavish sets. And this is Broadway in one of the most fun times in New York's history, the Roaring Twenties, Prohibition, Flappers, uh, Gangsters, Sex. You know, it's got something for everyone. And they get to see you sing and dance. And they get to see me sing and dance.
sing and dance. I promise it's better than that. Where, Rue, you found the new baby? On cue, you found the new baby. Boo, boo, you found the new baby. So say, oh.